Hi, in the previous video we learned about reflected XSS attack. In this video we'll go in further and find out how to use Python scripts to find vulnerabilities. So in this video we are going to take a look at Python scripts we see testing tools, create Python script for XSS vulnerability scanning, execute scanning of our target machine with Python script. But first we need to give the answer for a question why actually we need to use Python for web application uh, penetration testing, especially after we have learned the variety of powerful automated tools for finding out and uh, exploiting actually any kind of uh, web application vulnerabilities. The reason is here. We should use Python script when we need to be quick and flexible. Sometimes we don't need to run the whole cycle of vulnerability searching. We just need to test one or two parameters, or maybe one or two targets, and so on. And for that purpose, Python scripts are exactly what we need. Let me show you a real-life example. Here I've got a few lines of Python code that creates a scanner for testing the target for access vulnerability. Let's go through the lines and see how they work. In the first line, I'm importing the request module. We need it to run our script correct. The second line is define our target. Our target is the website that we will be testing for this vulnerability. So this line gives you the prompt to type your target URL. The next line is payload. Actually, it's our attack screen. Here I'm using the most popular screen to discover an XSS vulnerability in the web application. Script alert and script. Looks familiar, yeah? So, the next string, actually, when we send request to our target, and target is our URL that we're exploring, and uh, payload is adding in the end of our URL to check if the web application is vulnerable. And if our payload will be taken, and it means that uh, web application is vulnerable, the script shows us XSS vulnerability discovery text and the taking payload string. But if the testing site is not vulnerable, it will print out secure. Now let's go and run it. I have saved my file in the desktop directory, so let's move there. Then run Python console and our file. Click enter. And it invites me to type my target URL. As a target, I use Mutually Day application login register page. So let's go there. Let's copy URL. And paste it here in our script. Click Enter. And here we've got the results. XSS vulnerability discovered. So our target is XSS vulnerable, and using this attacking payload, a hacker can insert the malicious code using this JavaScript string. But that's not all. Here I am giving the simplest code for this scanner, but it can be enlarged for your current purposes. For example, we can make changes in the code for exploring not one target, but a few. And also we can use not only one payload, but create a list of payloads we want to use for testing this defined web application. We can also call all the HTML code of the page we are testing right here in our console, and so on. And this is how a Python script can let us make our work faster and more flexible. I recommend you to play around with this code, and who knows, maybe you create a security tool written in Python of your own. In this video, we have considered Python scripts we see testing tools, created Python script for XSS vulnerability scanning, executed scanning of our target machine with Python script. And this is the last video in the section 3. And in this section, we have discovered most popular cyber attacks against web applications, learned how to find and exploit vulnerability of web applications, found out how to locate diversity of web application vulnerabilities manually with automated tools and Python scripts. In the next section, we are going to learn about hacking a human in the cybercrime attack. Let's move ahead.